It's my first time in the Olympics, and it's here in my hometown, so I like it. I'm excited. This was the first time she interacted with deaf people, and we gave her a lookout, and we wanted her on the team. She was very excited. She's very young, and she's got a lot of lot more development that she can have, and she's going to be wonderful. I really did like having her on our team. I was just having a side conversation with her father about that, and he said he found us two weeks before the tryouts, and they showed up, and we are so thankful that they did. I just found out that the Deaf Olympics were going to be here in Park City. And so I said, hey, Karina, you want to try the Deaf Olympics? And we went over to Telluride, and she placed second in the GS trials. Karina's mainstreamed in Park City High School, and so this event is really wonderful because it's a deaf event, and we're not necessarily part of the deaf culture. Yeah, it's fun because you learn different sign language, and you get to interact with them, and it's fun to make new friends from different countries. What has she gotten out of it? Well, she now signs fluently. She's been taking sign language at the high school and she's been tutored in sign language. She's spoken to two rotary clubs in town. She's fundraised, so she's now, she was the, she was an excellent fundraiser for the team. So she's gotten so many things out of it other than just participate, skiing down the hill. And I think one of the biggest things that she gets out of it is being able to represent our country in an international event. That's something, the opportunity just doesn't come along very often. And uh, how'd you do? Today? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> I, have no, I didn't look. <laughs> Where do you think you'll finish? Um, well, I don't like downhill, so I didn't finish good, but... Whatever, it's fun. <laughs> it was so fun. Karina's never been on the ski team here. Uh, her sports are basketball and volleyball, but she grew up here. She grew up skiing in Deer Valley since she was two years old. Uh, she skis trees, moguls, everything like that, but this is her first time ever being on a ski team. So uh, it's been a crash course. Last Thursday, she put on downhill skis for the very first time in her whole life and competed in the downhill yesterday. So is that going to change now? Do you think she's going to come out and work with the same people who worked with Ted Ligety and Steve Nyman and uh, all those guys and get some of the, the top coaching that you can get here in, here in right here in Park City? That's a great question. You'll have to ask her, though, because when we asked her a couple weeks ago after she'd been training with the team every day, she said she really likes the sports, basketball and volleyball, and she was she loves being a recreational skier. So I really don't know. We haven't asked her since the event started. But, of course, that was before the Olympics. You never can tell whether the bug bit her or not. Do you have dreams of going beyond the Deaf Olympics and to the Olympic Olympics? I'm only 16, so we'll see. I don't know. We are very excited for her to be a part of this team. She's got a lot of possibilities. She will be back strong in four years, and I'm hoping to work with her from now on and really get her to where she could be. And she does have the same people preparing her skis, podium skis, as a lot of these uh, Olympians uh, have fixing their skis up. So she's got a lot of the same local support that you're talking about. Now, if uh, her first loves are actually basketball and volleyball, is she going to try to make the uh, summer Deaf Olympics uh, teams in those? Wow, you're opening a whole new possibility. I have no idea. We haven't thought about it. <laughs> That's a good question. Ask her. <laughs> Were you born deaf or did you become the... I was the born hard of hearing. And then when I was 12, my hearing just went down and now I'm deaf. She and her sister are both deaf. And without their cochlear implants, they're deaf as a post. So... Uh, they're both part of the hearing world and part of the deaf world. They've been to deaf camps and things like that, and this is just another opportunity for them to broaden their horizons with the deaf world. Now, you did get the cochlear implant. Uh, how has that changed your life, uh, if not your skiing? I can hear a lot better than before, because before I had hearing aids, and now I have a cochlear implant. And it's better. I can hear a lot more. We are totally proud of Karina. It's been a real, it's been so much fun watching her mature through the whole process with the fundraising and the trials and the competition and the focus. We're totally proud of her. She's a wonderful young lady.
I'm proud of her, but I'm also proud of this town for the support that they've given her. It's just been great. Yeah, so thank you, Park City.